Slutty Betty. Hi. Yeah, so we'll let you pick some songs. And I'll pick some songs, and we'll, and, and then we'll gossip, and right? then we'll and then we'll fight in between if we don't like each other's songs. All right, and and we'll promote uh, whatever we're doing. Okay. Are we doing anything? Are we soon? doing stuff? I don't know. I, don't know. I was hoping <laughs> you were, because I, when I quit smoking, I kind of retired from everything. Oh, I see. That was like uh, I had to change my um, my lifestyle. So you kind of just crawled out of your hole today for this well, you know, purpose? It's been two months, right? Yeah. I, I've been I'm on very these proud of Champex you. things, mm-hmm. and yes, it, it, and it works. And it, but it took a while, though, didn't well, it? Well, the first... <laughs> Yeah, the first. It was interesting for a while. Yeah, there. the first three weeks, I couldn't like, I couldn't even check Facebook. That was, you know, too social for me. Yeah. Like, I was like going crazy. But uh, now it's kind of uh, equaled out, mm-hmm. and I'm coming up to the end of my Champex thing, and that's where I'm kind of worried. Is this like an ad for Champex? I do the, I, every radio show for the past two months has been an What ad needs for to get a sponsorship with this company now? That's pretty much all I talk about now. <laughs> that and getting grapes and stuff. Getting grapes, cool. That's super interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so uh, do you want to uh, be DJ and pick a song? Are you talking to me because you're staring at the wall when you said that? Oh, yeah. I found okay. three on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I okay, three. let's do. Let's do. Let's. Do, did you find uh, the staff one? Yeah. I did. Okay, this is a song Mark's never heard before. Really? And this was actually just recommended to me recently by Justin Hagberg because he wants to start a band like this, and I was pretty fucking stoked. So. Okay. This is the Staff Indian Summer Road. And this goes out to Justin. Justin. Yeah. <laughs>
something about CFRO 100. You're listening to. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to CFRO 100.5 FM. FM. Co-op radio. Co-op radio. Yeah, there we need a big logo in this See, I, was, I did good. You could have done that. <laughs> Uh, that, who was that? That's one of the things I can't do. Remember, we were talking right. about those things. Oh, yeah. Jesus. S- that was the Screaming Dead, uh, who are playing at the Have a, L- a Have a Good Laugh Punk Fest, which is uh, a lot of people are talking about. This is happening this summer. Look, June 9th to 12th. And look you, at this poster. Very soon. Wow. Displaying it for me. Thursday yeah. it starts. Yeah, that's Vanna start, White over here. Look at all the bands. <laughs> Spectres are playing. Total Abuse. Dog's Body. Dog's body. Yeah, that's a good punk name. Do you know what a dog's body is? No, but I do know that it's a lyric it's in one of the Sex Pistols songs that I had to learn last week. Right. It's a servant <laughs> of a servant. Uh, someone who helps out your servant is a ah. dog's body. So it's like the lowest of the low. Hmm. So that's why when Johnny Rotten's like, uh, no dog's body. Yeah. You know, because, you know, as a working class lad, you know, that was Got it. what he had to look forward good, to. Good Johnny Rotten, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Screaming Dead... Uh, our uh, cult 80s death rock from look they're from Cheltenham UK yeah Cash might know where that is <laughs> yeah well you know who was from Cheltenham nope Brian Jones ah from the Rolling Stones he was like uh, uh, Cheltenham's most famous son but this band was formed in 1980 yeah so they're like old and shit they're totally old and so look in this band Disorder Look where, when it was established. 1980, we got some old motherfuckers coming. Oh, yeah. s- I'm not supposed to swear. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, so these bands these bands were established before you, you Betty. You car horns. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have just like a horn or something we can honk? <laughs> okay, and then before that, what did we hear? That was, no, oh, before that. Okay, that was the Staff Indian Summer Road, yeah. my new favorite song. All right, and that's going out to, what's his face? Justin Hagberg. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Justin. All right. And, okay, so uh, we're, uh, you're listening to Bad Vibes. We've got uh, uh, my co-DJ, Bloody Betty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, what's the next track? Oh, I don't know. It's my turn again. What do you think? Uh, let's let's do a little. Uh, We're taking turns. Let's do a little sex junkie. Uh, and why why are you picking this song? And uh, is because it's Wendy Williams and and, and she's, she's awesome. And yeah. and also because uh, the singer from the staff the reminded staff. reminded me a lot of Wendy Williams. I don't know. It might be the only one on that. But uh, wow, you're really bigging up the staff. Really good. Well, we just heard the staff, right? Yeah, I know, but yeah. So I'm saying you're. So I'm saying I'm doing this one next. It's interrelated. Yeah, you're picking up. There's some sort of so like defensive. pathway between the two. There. She's trying to say it's interrelated <laughs> in some odd way. This is for all you who don't get enough. It's called sex junkie. Junkie, you'll do as I please 
body's old. Keep on walking to the night. Your flesh is hot. You grin. Way bright. You perspire through your clothes. You think it grows and grows. That's the germs, uh, Darby Crash with Lexicon Devil. And before that, you heard the Plasmatics. Was it or was Sex it? Junkie. Wendy yeah. Williams. Was that solo? Well, it was, it was Wendy pl- no. O. And that was Plasmatics. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so Wendy, she committed suicide. Suicide. <laughs> yes, suicide. Suicide, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not far from the truth. Sewer side. <laughs> and Darby Crash is dead too. Yeah, there's two dead people yeah. we put. That's that's a you know a little. And why did I it. play uh, Lexicon Devil? Because I like the germs. You've got a tattoo. I do. I have a, f- a few tattoos of the germs. <laughs> or, uh, you've got germs tattoos. I got germs, and I have germs and tattoos. And germs burns. And germs tattoos. Do you know what a germs burn is? No. I'm learning all kinds of things today. Oh, you don't know what a germ spurn is? No. Uh, we've actually had a guest on the show on Bad Vibes who has a original germ spurn. Uh, originally, when Darby Crash was alive, uh, he had a little gang, right? And mm-hmm. they give each other germ spurns. Cigarette which burns. Was, uh, which was a cigarette <laughs> burn on your hand. Yeah. Right? Because uh, the whole circle-y thing. Yeah. The circle. So, well, which was the circle, right? Yeah. And Ron Reyes has a germ spurn. Does he? Yes, he does. And he was a guest. <laughs> Wasn't he, Mark? Yes, he was. <laughs> We're here with Bloody Betty. <laughs> We're doing a countdown. Light in my bed. Yes, he was, sir! <laughs> We're doing a countdown to, hey... To, to when we're done and then to the arrival of Ken <laughs> Fisher <laughs> in the medium we're doing show. <laughs> down till five o'clock. Uh, uh, so Betty's here. She's uh, gonna help us pick songs, and uh, you know we're gonna talk about some stuff. What should we talk about? We should, uh, what should we talk? Oh about? yeah, I wanted to talk about that. Um, uh, the comedy thing. You've aligned yourself with some uh, comedians. Now. Yeah, that's the only people I've they can't get along with anymore. So now, why is that? <laughs> Um, I don't know, because comedians have a sense of humor. Can you mansplain this to me? (laughs) Mansplain me why you're hanging out with comedians now. Because I don't know. I'm... You I think I'm funny, but most <laughs> other people disagree. <laughs> a lot of people don't think these comedians are funny either, so we just we're, we've made a gang. <laughs> okay, so uh, is this Pub Three Forty? No, this is Funkies. Well, I remember we, they used to have like a comedy portion at, at uh, Pub Three Forty, yeah. and, and a couple of them almost got assaulted. It was kind of sad. 
I know they're not funny, but gee, God, don't punch them out. <laughs> okay, well, you've been doing this. Uh, okay, so what is this thing? Explain this to. It's called the uh, the, the filthy show or that filthy show. I can never remember. Show. I think it's that filthy show. Mm-hmm. I should know this. <laughs> it's your show, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I'm co kind oh, of co producing. Co producing. Yeah. What, who's this guy? It's uh, DJ, DJ DJ Roy. DJ, DJ Roy. DJ Roy. He's uh, and he's been to Afghanistan. Oh uh, yeah. Is he the one who he has? He, he works in uh, his military stuff into his comedy. I've noticed. Uh, Dick Cheney. He works in a lot I'm, of cocaine and uh, porn jokes. Or am I forget? Or am I think? Is that some other comedian? All these comedians, they look alike to me. <laughs> <laughs> They've all got the same little beard, <laughs> same little plaid shirt. You, know. well, you were there when I looked like DJ. Remember that? I was there when you had, like a, uh, had a uh, penis. Yeah. Yeah. I, which time was that? I don't know. I often have penises. It's, it's kind of a thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you should ever have a penis because I think you would misuse it. <laughs> I don't think you... <laughs> That's why I wear them. It's yeah. always to misuse I don't think them. You can in handle some way the responsibility of having a penis. Oh, you should have been there when I had the Gigi Allen penis, Mark. That was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was it covered in poo? <laughs> uh, yes, and a uh, girl's mouth. See that at one point in the See, show. I censored myself <laughs> by uh, saying poo. poo. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know this is a family hour kind of show. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I, so oh, it's yeah. monthly monthly comedy show at Funky's. I think it's the last Thursday of every month, but it, or no, no, it's not. Don't listen to me. Just look it up. It's called That Filthy Show. It's on Thursdays, once a month. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of comedians doing funny things that are inappropriate and rude and get, they're the ones that keep getting kicked out of the comedy shows. Like I get, kept getting kicked out of burlesque shows. So, you know, we're, we're like a gang now. Oh, cool. Uh, what is that? Okay, look, here, I'll play a song first and then we'll uh, do one of yours, okay? Okay, let's okay, do that. So, uh, here, uh, this way I can work in some more CanCon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Here well, we I was just talking about that, like the show, that's Canadian content, right? Yeah, but you're supposed to be yeah, Canadian. I know, I know. Yeah, you're music. supposed to be, yeah, a Got certain it. portion of Canadian content. But okay. we're not doing it just because we're forced to. By, by like no, name no, no, dropping no, 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 that no, no, doesn't Yeah, there's someone it. holding us at I, gunpoint I, as yeah. we speak. <laughs> We're actually playing uh, uh, our fellow Canadian musicians because yes, exactly. we like them, not, you know. Because we have to. Well, oh, not because we have to. Uh, here, this is an album that I actually really like, and that is a Canadian album, and uh, it's a band called The Bad Beats, so here we go. Great local band.
right, bad vibes. Uh, CFRO 100.5. We're here with Bloody Betty, and she just made me play Queen Adrena. Sexiest uh, woman in know, the entire world. Yeah, because we're feeling pretty grunge. <laughs> uh, what happened to Queen Adrena? Anyway. Well, the singer, Katie yeah, Jane Garside, went completely insane. And now she's living in the woods? No, she, no she did. I think momentarily she was... Explain. She lost her mind and, and went up to the woods where all the crazy broads go when they lose their minds. And uh, I was saying that uh, Wendy Williams was living mm-hmm. in the woods before she uh, snuffed herself, too. Yeah, it's a place to go. <laughs> and now, now this chick's living up in the woods. No, now she's, now she's back and she was doing, this was like a few years ago that I looked, but she was doing a project called Ruby Throat. Right, and now which she's was back like in Camden Which was like bizarre, like, throat singing weirdness stuff. Throat singing? What's, I don't know, something weird. What's that? I don't know. Something fish do? <laughs> oh, that's how you're gonna do that. That's how you. That was a terrible segue. <laughs> no, seriously. And they rehearsed this off the air too. No, no. Like seriously, <laughs> dolphins do throat singing. Uh, hello, you know that's what they're kind of known for. You know, they're really smart and they do stuff like throat singing. Do they? Do cool. you, yeah. Haven't you been to one of those marine things? Worlds. I've never seen a singing dolphin. I can't say that I have. But you do know. A lot I do know about that they fish. like to rape other dolphins. <laughs> I do know this. Oh yeah, they're that's... major like sea rapists. Right. Uh, Twenty minutes of action <laughs> for dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, no, but tell me, uh, you know a lot about fish, Bloody Betty. I do know a lot about <laughs> well, why fish. Why is that? <laughs> why is that? Well, I have eight fish tanks at home and no, but I, work in, yes, I work, work in a store I work in a store where I work with the fish, <laughs> with fish <laughs> keep no. them from raping each other <laughs> is this a is this like a big common problem with fish do they no this is I think this is just dolphins just dolphins it's just a dolphin thing it seems more like a shark like, thing doesn't it no mm-hmm. sharks just kill and eat yeah yeah but they've always been the bad guy in the uh, oh yeah whole. they like to snuggle too it's a little known fact what, dolphins? Shark, sharks are big snugglers. So, so really, <laughs> sharks are kind of like you know they get like the bad PR, but they're actually kind of cool. Kind of cool. Sharks are kind of cool. <laughs> and dolphins are actually the assholes. <laughs> exactly, assholes of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> assholes of the sea <laughs> with high sex drives. <laughs> yeah. Now that is a band name, assholes of the sea. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. You could do some throat singing in there, too. <laughs> yeah, you'd be famous. Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin throat singing. Yeah, the assholes of the sea, we're known for throat singing. <laughs> Actually, you, you do throat singing. Do I? Yes, you, uh, because you have this habit of uh, doing walk-ons that's, with that's, bands. That's like, throat singing? <laughs> and doing throat singing. <laughs> you've done that with the Crystal Pistols. Yeah, I have. And uh, the Vampire Vats. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you know what? Uh, and okay, uh, bloody Betty and I, we uh, we do a duet. Oh, we're gonna, do, we're gonna yeah. segue into this yeah. now. Eh? Might as well, might as well play it. A little shameless self promotion mm-hmm. here. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, uh, we were working on this thing, and I, I kind of go crazy, and uh, you know, I kind of I hadn't listened to it. I was mixing and mixing, and uh, I couldn't get it right. But uh, I just found this mix that Jordy Birch did uh, of the song, and this is uh, so we're gonna play it. This is unreleased vampire. Our bats I'm, with this is Canadian content. Do you it, check? Technically, oh, yes. it's Canadian content because yeah. <laughs> we're both Canadian. <laughs> so here we go for the first time ever. This is a sneak preview of an unreleased Vampire Bat song with Bloody Betty, and it's a duet, and it's called Two's a Crowd." And here it is. <laughs> Say 
CFRO 100.5 FM Co-op Radio. We're here with Bloody Betty. That was a uh, petroleum byproduct, which uh, uh, Vanessa was the bass player. Remember Vanessa Turner, Mark? Oh, yes. She used to do She used show. to be the co-host of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a running uh, joke at co-op. People can't do shows anymore because either they're taking a course, getting a good education, or they got a job. Yeah, well, that's what she's doing. Is <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for everyone that we don't. Yeah, well, no, I th- I'm thinking of taking a library not, not course. Typical <laughs> jobs, anyway. Let me get for you. Uh, but yeah, so she's off studying. That was her old band, Petroleum Byproducts. Sally, the singer, has moved to Berlin. Vanessa's getting an education. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's here. She works with fish. <laughs> she gets a good education. Yeah. Uh, before we that, you heard the uh, Two's a Crowd, which is you singing. That was you on there. That's, that's you that's as you well. And me. That's, that's also you. <laughs> and that was mi- mixed that's, by Jordy. That's both of us. Yeah. So that 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 was like quite the stellar two songs there, both unreleased. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did what was I going to ask you about? Mm, I don't know. We did fish. We did uh, suicide. We did. Um, Want to mention the Filthy Show next Thursday? Oh, yeah, the Filthy Show. Okay, so that's it. We were talking about the Filthy Show earlier. Uh, Yeah, next Thursday, the 16th is the next one. And then on July 28th is the next one, which is also my birthday party and the debut of the Ready for the Horn there, Mark. The (laughs) guns. (laughs) Wait, that was really annoying. uh, (laughs) Didn't you just have a birthday last year? I did, I did. So Uh, you're, you're having another one? That was a thing that happened, yeah. It's like a yearly annual an annual event that okay. I put on. <laughs> well, that'll be good that, because your birthdays are always notoriously. Th- that's a good excuse to party, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hang out with your wang out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have one of those pony yeah, penises true. again. Yeah, uh, it's true. Uh, okay, so we have the birthday thing, and then uh, this band that I've heard so much about. Like, <laughs> what, what is the? What is the concept there that we're you're doing, doing? We're doing a Sex Pistols tribute. A tribute to the Sex Pistols. Yeah, sp- with, you know, fake penises and so, overdoses. <sighs> right, and so what's the gimmick here? You know, uh, what's the angle? Uh, I mean, it's not just a straight tribute. No, no, we got, you know, I we're mean, doing like, not, the costumes and the drug s- abuse and the... So are you going to do the Sex Pistols songs or is yeah, it... Yeah, we're going to do that. We thought that might be a good thing to do. Uh, but that is, uh, are you changing anything around or... I don't know, we haven't got that far yet. We just, we, just, we booked a gig and we have a show and we'll figure that out as it goes. <laughs> so you're just like Johnny Rotten and Sid Vision? <laughs> I, this French Canadian guy I remember a long time ago is like when I was punk rock he was, comes up to us and he's like you guys look like Johnny Rattan and Sid Vision <laughs> Sid Vision <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what Betty do you ever think about funny things to say as uh, in a French Canadian accent I, I can't do a French Canadian accent really? you know who else can't do it but but tried at the Filthy Show actually a couple weeks ago with Chris Walter. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh yes, so Chris it was awesome. Chris is an author. You yeah. love Chris. <laughs> so what did he, did he try and do some stand up? Well, he d- no, he did it like a spoken word deal. But he read one of his excerpts from his books. He read like a story from his book. Was it a funny story? It was hilarious. A funny and anecdote. The f- and the funniest part about it was Chris Walter doing a French Canadian accent because that was hilarious as well. Nice. It was awesome. So yeah, we're booking like all kinds of random stuff in there now if it's entertaining and out of the norm then that's what you can find at the filthy show you must have some pretty funny anecdotes <laughs> <laughs> i don't am i allowed to talk about any of them on this radio show you said it was a family program yeah well, no, it's <laughs> just point to me when i have to go <laughs> oh, just that'd be do that. pretty much the entire <laughs> like, story yeah. i'm wearing headphones and every time you do that it's like I'm a musician. Oh <laughs> and all the dogs in the neighborhood just like... So am I. Perk up. <laughs> I just don't play live. I refuse to play live. Okay, well, okay, well, I know. I'll play a song, and then you tell me this anecdote while the song's playing. Oh, okay, and we then, can do that, and then and then, and then and then you can be, like, laughing really hard when the song's over, and everyone no, will be that, like, whoa, what'd she tell? What'd no, she tell? then we'll decide whether uh, it's uh, broadcastable, the anecdote. Well, if it's worth mentioning, it's probably not. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm sure, I'm sure there's... Make up code words in the place of swear words, then. I don't want to have to do that funny sound. (laughs) Nobody wants you to have to do that funny sound. Don't touch your toto. Okay, here I am. Don't touch your zutsa. Okay, music, music, music. Quickly, quickly, go, go. Yeah. Yeah, we 
You're listening to Bad Vibes on CFRO 100.5 FM. I'm here with Mark Bignall pushing the buttons and the lovely bloody Betty over here. (laughs) (laughs) Was that a question? (laughs) No, I'm saying the lovely bloody Betty over here. And then I'm pointing at you. you It's it's like theatrical. (laughs) This is is professional radio, Betty. (laughs) And so you heard uh, Death Sentence in their cover of Planet Claire. And before that, Doom and Gloom, Halloween. That was pretty scary, eh? Uh, Okay, so I did want to talk to you a little bit about uh, a little while ago, you won a whammy. I sure did. (laughs) You did. And it was for what? Best burlesque group. What happened to the burlesque group? And that, uh, and I, I saw this pie chart, and you were, like, killing it. You were, like, you had all the yeah, votes. Yeah, I, I thought you were kidding. <laughs> no, d- you, did I send you the pie chart? No, you didn't, but you just told me I better write an accepted did speech you see then, the, so. Yeah, did you see the pie chart? No, I did not. Yeah, no, you had, like, the big chunk. Everyone was voting for you, and uh, it was uh, Bloody Betty and the Deadly Sins, which is your old... Uh, thing yeah now, uh, old thing well uh, i mean are you doing you're not doing this anymore or? no unfortunately what, what, what's the deal uh well you know in order to have a successful show that continues on in the world you have to have people come to your shows why <laughs> and pay it? and pay cover i know i know why why is that it sounds so familiar in the scene <laughs> <laughs> why is it so hard here in vancouver I don't know, I, but when you go down to oakland yep what happens there? Uh, all the people things come that, out. Yeah, people go out. People yeah. scream. They <laughs> people. like. They invite you back. You they get pay you money. You get paid. Yeah, you get paid. People, uh, people actually care. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> so I uh, basically you were doing this for for a while too. Yeah, it was like almost 12, 13 years. Well, we don't want to date ourselves. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> we <Right>. just did. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it's no, okay, but Mark's older than me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, but you were the uh, because uh, you were the inventor of Gorlesque. Well, the term. Yeah, you know, but I well, you invented I don't, I don't the, know. the genre. I don't know. I'm sure there was other people pouring blood on their tits before yeah, me. But, but I mean, you, you yeah. brought it all together yes. under one. I, I, one, I believe you know. that was that happened. Yeah, you know. So, uh, but uh, do, and do they know this down south? They do, uh, do don't they? I think um, yeah, probably, maybe, possibly. And what happened in Australia? Didn't they like rip you off somehow? No, they didn't rip me off. They just—it's—it's it's just like a term that is now used all over the place. Have you ever been to Australia? I have never been to Australia. Oh, and I went to Australia. I was going through the uh, what the customs there. Yeah. And they were like, uh, "Do you ha- do you have a criminal record?" And I was like, "I didn't know that you still needed one to get in." <laughs> <laughs> and then like, Pulled me in, mate. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk to you. Call funny boy, old man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, comedian. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, so yeah, so you've become disillusioned with taking your clothes off. Uh, no, 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 definitely not. I still, I can, st- I have bands now. I, I can take my clothes t- off in those bands, and yeah, yeah. I noticed you take your clothes off not whenever at possible. Actual events, just <laughs> anywhere, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this thing. I don't know. Is that legal? Clothing is uncomfortable. No. It's uh, confining. Um, okay. Well, but uh, you're going to do more burlesque events, aren't you? Uh, I, don't, I don't really get invited to in burlesque events, but that's okay. What do you mean? Well, I mean, burlesque is nice. And oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but you I'm know not what I mean. Nice. You know what? Uh, but you're, you're going to still put... You're not going to put on... Uh, I don't know. We're, like, we're going to do, like, you're gonna do break a few down here and, and there. Yeah. But usually, like, when we do, like, the filthy show and we do, like, I do... I book bands and band shows and stuff, too. We add a couple of acts in the mix, spice it up a little. Yeah. A little what blood, about, little tits. What about my idea of that, doing the Elvis comeback special, but doing Bloody Betty's comeback <laughs> 69? <laughs> Because his was come back sixty eight and yours will be come back, <laughs> but spelled, 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 up, spelled and differently. And yes, yeah, and yeah. come back sixty nine because you know <laughs> that's the dirty number, oh, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> we played a scum fest a few years ago right. in Victoria. We did. Uh, it was actually one of the last Bloody Betty shows we did. Mm-hmm. And in most of the pictures, I guess the angle that it was taken from the S was blocked out. So it literally there's a bunch of pictures all over the internet that just say <laughs> "come fest" <laughs> oh, <laughs> pictures of us in front of the banner. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it were insanely appropriate. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, right. Let's. Okay. What's. What was. You, you wanted to play a song, right? Well, is this the last song? To end up, oh, off no. the show, I guess. Are we going to end the song or? Okay. You know what? Okay. We could. You wanted to hear Shivers. Yes. 
but uh, I didn't get the uh, who's the cover version by? It was okay. Divine Fits. So I brought the uh, original Shivers by Nick Cave. Okay. And I guess oh, you've okay. never heard this, but no. this was his uh, first band. Um, we're talking about Australia again. Mm-hmm. Birthday Weird. party? Uh, no, this was before. before. This was the Boys Next Door. So they put out one album, and then it was kind of a uh, poppy, uh, poppy punky, punky pop. Interesting. Pop punk. And then the birthday party got you know a lot more extreme. So, but this was a uh, this was a hit in Australia. This was like his first hit in Australia. So here's Shivers, and it was written by Roland Howard. So here you go. Goodbye, bad vibes. <laughs> We've had bloody Betty. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye. It's so depressing. See you go, Betty. It's okay. I'll see you like probably within the next few days or week. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. I've been contemplating suicide. But it really doesn't suit my style. So I think I'll just die. Who can tame the blood I would have shed? She makes me feel so Yeah.